Today's pre-workout meal is beans, vegetables, sriracha, steroids, also known as fish oil, more steroids, also known as daily vitamins. I'm going to have this and let's see how good an idea having loads of refried beans is before I work out. I'm thinking this is going to go really well. Um, I'm going to eat this. I'm then going to sort out my pre-workout shake, <coughs> which I'll film. And later I want to do a video about, basically, I was severely ill last week. Properly ill. I'm going to talk about it more in a separate video. But I think that's interesting to see, to talk about how I approached it, how my coach told me to approach it and stuff. It might be useful. <coughs> also... I want to explain why literally nothing came out last week. Not that many people watch it yet, my channel, but I just I feel as though an explanation is owed. So, gonna eat this, sort out my shake, and then I'll leave. Uh, walking to the gym, so this will settle during the walk in my stomach. That was really stressful, if anything because I had to weigh out precise measurements into there and also into one second here because in here is a container of more stuff for post-workout this is post, this is pre, uh, in post, in post, yeah, I've got, uh, I've got beta alanine, creatine, and BCAAs, in pre, I've got caffeine, beta alanine, BCAAs, and dextrose, which is a sugar, so, two different things, obviously caffeine was really sensitive, had to get, go, go down to the, Microgram, milligrams, uh, which I had to use my special jewelry scales for, and it took me about 20 minutes because I've never done this before. I'm gonna try and figure out a way to do this better because that took too long. But yeah, I'm gonna take that to the workout, and I've eaten all my food obviously, so off I go. What's going on, everybody? Um, <laughs> This is just starting off with some squats. This is the Monday workout because this is a video of Monday. And uh, starting off with my working set of 103.5 and the rep range is three to six. I'm supposed to stop with one rep in the tank and uh, that meant I got four. With good depth, I'm really happy with the depth. Uh, obviously I could bury it deeper to really just cement the fact I'm going parallel or below but definitely hitting parallel here and I'm happy with that so I ended it there because I thought I could probably squeeze out one more but I'm not supposed to so then on to the bench press because I got I think I got well it said how many back up sets I got after that working set uh, with the bench press, 63.5, once again, same rep range, 3 to 6, and uh, it's paused bench. I got the 3, and uh, the third one was definitely difficult. I'd say, yeah, look at that, definitely difficult, but I'd say I could definitely squeeze out one more, so got the 3, and I was happy with that. Uh, this is just a quick little uh, footage of the chalk on my hand drying because nothing's more fun than watching chalk dry uh, 125 on the deadlift, this is the most I've done with proper deadlifts where you hit the floor and let the weight go dead before you lift it again and I got 6 reps in that 3 to 6 rep range so I was super happy if you look to the left of the, of the bar you'll see the weight slipping because the lock I put on the, the bar is pretty crap 
and so that that weight just slips and slips and slips and the left side side or rather my right side became heavier and heavier and uh, but I got over it and I was happy with this workout first time I took that pre-workout shake and it seriously did the job so very happy I am about to have my post workout meal and what do we know here's one that I made earlier oatmeal I had my post workout shake post workout at the gym and oh my god I've never had uh, 200 milligrams of caffeine and uh, that dextrose I think were the two energy things and the beta alanine is like what I think is responsible for how itchy and weird I felt Oh my god, I feel a bit sick. I don't like it. I don't know you guys I saw sort of, during the workout I was like this is the best thing ever now. It's post-workout. I just want it to go away <sighs> So I'm gonna have in this little mix is chocolate whey protein there is also uh, there is also Angel Delight chocolate flavour and Erythritol which is a sweetener with a bit of stevia and what else is in there? I think that's it. Is that it? I think so. So boom. going to mix this in and then I'm going to put some peanut butter in. I'm going to put about 30 grams of peanut butter in. I'm going to put exactly 30 grams of peanut butter in. I don't know what I said about. It's just a word you throw in there. Oh my god. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to snort this to get it to go directly into my bloodstream. The problem is it's a bit thick, so what I do is, I mix it with sriracha until it becomes a bit more liquidy. Uh, sriracha, I choose that because I used to do water and then I got a bit hardcore and uh, did a bit of sriracha. It just got to a point where it's all sriracha because I'm used to it now. Look at that, it's mixing. Peanut butter time. Scales. Gold. Okay, where's this spoon? Hmm, I used the wrong spoon. No mind. There is no right spoon, that's what I always say. 30 grams of peanut butter. I think that looks like 30 grams, but I reckon this is going to be actually about 33. So if I like lose a bit, hmm, maybe I lost too much. That's about 17.45 grams of peanut butter. Oh my god! 17. Ah, oh, well, it was 17. You saw it for a second be 17, but oh no, it's 19. So how's Oh, these scales, these scales are amazing. It's gonna be like 20 in a second, so I better hurry up before I'm conned out of grams of peanut butter. The worst thing in the world. That's 35 grams. Where are my scales now, James? Okay. You know what you should never do? Fat after a workout, apparently. Uh. But if I don't do this, I'm, I'm not hitting my fat macros for today. So, overall macros, more important than uh, post-workout macros. At least I'm eating something. I also had BCAAs earlier, and there's a decent amount of protein in this. So, you know what, I'm happy with it all. Mmm, okay. There it is. I'm going to mix that peanut butter in, obviously. I'm not going to eat it in one mouthful. But that's post-workout. I'll talk about the workout later. And, uh, bye. Eventually, I did sort of crash after the hyper-energy of the pre- and post-workout shakes. And I got on with work, and I did some... I did, like, I did 13 minutes of walking on the treadmill which came to 1.3 kilometers just to get my steps up and now I'm eating this because I've made my lunch for tomorrow and it is quarter to nine 
and I've got about an hour 15 minutes before I go to bed. So there's 200 grams of pasta under there, uh, meatballs and loads of vegetables, two peppers, two courgettes and 320 grams of mushrooms. I'm going to eat this now as my last meal of the high carb day whilst playing Assassin's Creed Unity which I started yesterday. I don't have much of an opinion on it yet. But yeah, so that's the end of the day. <laughs>